people are pigs in. No more, no less. Nazis. Modern day Nazis, stormtroopers. Cowardly ones, but nonetheless. In numbers they're they're strong. The typical symptoms now are chatter 16 hours per day. Uh, sometimes the symptoms feel like pin pricks, the vibrations on the body. Yes, that's, that's very true about the vibrations. I get those continuously at night uh, when I'm trying to sleep or whatever. It's, it's, it's like I'm in a, a uh, recliner with uh, some kind of vibrating attachment to it. And I don't have a clue what that's about. Uh, I think somehow they're trying to possibly uh, cook you from the inside out, you know, with these microwaves, do that kind of thing to you. Uh, constantly pulsing, there's this pulsing too. If you notice this pulsing, uh, it's like uh, uh, it'll, it'll come up through the bed, through through wood, through chairs, and everything. It's like it's annoying. You, know, you can't sit still for five minutes without without having a move. Well. A college professor told me one time to pay close attention to pronouns. One day I heard, you are always talking to yourself. And I thought, if I was always talking to myself, I would not think you are always talking to yourself. There were things like the smell of uh, uh, toxic uh, chemicals that uh, no one else would recognize when they came in. I even had the police come in and do an uh, evaluation, and they said they couldn't detect anything. Where I was rolled across great distances across the lawn. I was moving in different ways, such as a kind of dancing, and this was not me. It was like radio frequency or something moving me. I was getting voice to skull transmissions using a lot of foul, disturbing language. I was having levitation of some of my body parts. When I was lying on my stomach, they were able to pull my legs way up behind me and hold it there, suspended in the air, higher than I could hold my legs up myself like that. My eyes were being pulled, uh, yanked, to look at the same thing over and over, uncontrollably, 
and I had no control over these things happening, and I didn't know what it was. At the was. end of the trip, the first mate and I spoke again. He said, quote, that's how this government operates, unquote. Oh, yeah. Don't you hear him over there? He was right here just a second ago, and then I went out there with my camera, and he like, took off. I don't. I just get it just to have it, man. Just to have it. I got some more literature for you today. Yeah, yeah I did. Just for you. <sighs> See, watch him move. Now he's moving. Here he comes. What's up, dude? <laughs> he, he lo they love doing it. Like, here, go ahead, film me. That's exactly what I'm going to do, too. It's just a game of macho between him and me, them and me. Ridiculous game. And then here comes the Jets.
beating so hard and trying to jump out of my chest. I'm standing on my porch next to my patio door. That telephone post. That's about how close it is to where I'm standing. And I can still hear the helicopter. Here it comes. Five minutes of tape left. I'm sure this is a helicopter that flew over house this morning. Just before 3 a.m. Here it comes again. right there. I'm going to drop down. This is insanity. How do these police officers get away with this terrorism? Like somebody was concerned about what I was putting on my window. So we coming out to take a closer look. Car act like it was going to stop. Now, nah, look at him. <laughs> oh, we got two more cars coming. Three. Oh, they having a little convention down here. Look, all the cars lined up. Now with those cars lined up down here at the end, at that end corner house, it's the house that uh, 
the man that was carrying the um, machine to do these energy attacks, he was parked down there and walked down here past my house, past me, and went to the side to this um, neighbor house right next door to me. This is one of my participating perps. To do game stalking. Oh, they turning around. Look at them. We gotta go down there as soon as I go to the back. There won't be no more gang stalking activity on Taylor. That's the second time she stepped out of the car and made a signal at somebody on the other side of the fence. And you see the strong purple laser beam that's rigged somehow to be going specifically through that part of her vehicle there. It seems to need some kind of electrical current. But not every source of light has it going through. You can see the fence. Let's get a closer look here. And how only on the fence the um, the blue and yellow directed energy weapons waves are going through that horizontal bar there that the olive skinned guy with the bleached blonde hair was um, putting some uh, electrical wire tape uh, around some wires by um, in the last few days. I don't remember if I uploaded that as of yet. If not, I'll upload that real soon. And there went another vehicle that seemed to be actually carrying a laser forward with it. Let's see what's going on here. Uh, oh, I should say, some people are trying to confuse people with the idea that things might just be, quote, lens flares. Um, I'll probably link to an example of an actual lens flare. Um, there's a couple things wrong with that theory. These are very clearly lasers and not lens flares. Lens flares are not so uh, concentrated for one thing. They're quite a bit more diffuse. Um, they also are not just consistently purple for no explainable reason. Um, the word might be ex explicable. I'll have to look that up. Um, okay. Um, hmm. In fact, judging from the direction of those yellow and blue directed energy waves, I would even say that those are being generated from her vehicle as well. This is not the first time I've seen this young lady that appears to be an operative um, uh, coordinating with some of the other people around and so forth. Um, you know, especially after you've seen them for a while, you can really see a lot of difference between what people that are working for them will get online and try to claim as casual gesturing, like casual hellos and goodbyes and actual hand signaling to communicate something professionally. Uh, so what I'm picking up with these people that I think everybody else is well able to see is that we've got some you know, communications that involve hand signals, uh, professional uh, communication, not just casual. Um, exchanges. That may just be a passerby. Um, okay, today is January 4th, 2008. I think I'll just zoom out again to just see if there's anything else particularly worth seeing here this morning to assess the, uh, <laughs> the field for the day, to start out the day.
some of the experiences are voice to skull, where voices are transmitted to a person from a distance, remote viewing, where a person can be watched in their homes or picked out of a crowd, shocks given to the body, paralyzation of the body, levitation of body parts, gang stalking, where people are followed around, also lasers, laser technology to the eyes or um, hallucination type things, a combination of all these types of torture. A lot of these symptoms could cause a person to become ill, physically ill. Assassinations are carried out by persons being controlled and directed in these ways. The mind can become confused, a person is overwhelmed, and there's no way to fight these symptoms. They can cause people to want to commit suicide, mm -hmm. cause great pain in the mind, pulling your eyes. They can direct energy to different parts of the mind to play on people's emotions.